Pat, Monday marked this year's International Day of the Bible, and this year the host city for the celebration was Oklahoma City. Paul Strand brings us this look at how the event and the people honored God's Word. Not only is the Bible the best-selling book of all time, it has its own annual day. And so people came together to celebrate the Bible by booming it out from high in the state capitol rotunda in this year's designated host, Oklahoma City. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. John 1.1 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Well, if the Word's God, you need to know it to know him. There is an intimacy with God that we develop through the Word being in us. Event organizer Richard Glickstein praised host Oklahoma City for being one of the most evangelical in America if not the most. So it is a wonderful Bible-based town and people love God here. Bobby Grunewald is among them. He and his team developed the Uversion app that's taken the Bible out of its covers and put it on your smartphone or tablet. He believes if you want to hear from God, you have to read his word. A way for him to illuminate his direction in our lives. So I think it's extremely important that we begin to make not just a habit for habit's sake, but that we actually make God's word a part of our everyday life so that we can really be able to hear his voice and his direction in our lives. Uh, some people are skeptical of this book, but the problem is they don't know it. Steve Green loves the Hobby Lobby business his family runs from Oklahoma City, but one of his biggest passions is leading people, especially skeptics, to a love of God's word. Before they criticize it, my suggestion is they just read it, see what it has to say, and I believe that if they apply the principles that it teaches, what history has shown is it is good for mankind, and I think it's good for an individual if they do the same. I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from the Oklahoma State Capitol. I covered that day once, and we were in Philadelphia, so they keep moving around to celebrate the Bible, Pat. I tell you, I'm, I'm awestruck by the beauty of that state capital. I had no idea Oklahoma City had anything that pretty. It's really elegant. But the fact that they're honoring the Bible, God bless them. You, you know, I, I recommend <clears throat> every single day you need to be in the Word of God. You need to read something, and the Lord will speak to you, and it will sing in your heart. And uh, you know, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Congratulations on the year of the Bible. 